Is this going to be start for something new what nobody knows about, what nobody talks about? Because today, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful people, I welcome you back to yet another news episode on my channel where the main topic is about one of the upcoming tank destroyer in a tech tree where we do not have any tank destroyers yet. I'm talking about the Czech tech tree and SHPK slash TVP 100. This tank apparently is going to be our first Czech tank destroyer in the game when nobody knows uh, how nobody knows how they're going to release it <clears throat> is it going to be a premium tank is it going to be a deck to vehicle but uh, you know usually when they release information about tier 8 first it tends to be more of a premium tank in the game but um, the fact that we have a Czech tank destroyer over here is quite intriguing isn't it either way let's dive right into it so tier 8 shp tk dvp 100 what wargaming is saying about this vehicle the czechoslovakian tank destroyer shp tk dvp 100 is going to the closed super test stage in terms of gameplay the vehicle is a fairly mobile and fast firing tank destroyer that can hit a variety of targets uh, thanks to its good rate of fire you won't have to worry about the wasting shells on fast moving targets and the high penetration of the special heat shells will help you fight heavily armored high tier enemies but you know the gun is going to be very interesting for a tank destroyer what i mean by that well just take a look at the firepower boom firepower it has weirdly low alpha damage for a tank destroyer for a tier 8 tank destroyer 250 alpha damage with standard shell with premium shell but guys 420 alpha damage on the AG. this AG is going to be quite special one because uh, standard shell uh, penetration is 250 which is very good in a tier 8 i would say and if i don't know if it is going to be a premium tank uh, then definitely uh, you do not need to use too many uh, premium rounds to make some good credits right uh, but premium heat 330 millimeters of penetration is also super Super, super good for a tier 8 uh, a tank destroyer one of the highest on a tier 8 uh, tank destroyer in any compared to any tier 8 tank destroyer right and uh, now the memias thing of course high explosive penetration 100 millimeters this is going to eat all the lightly armored tanks quite fast uh, but um, is it actually going to be super fast because 7.5 second reload time now 7.5 second reload time is uh, not going to make the ap or heat round the dpm anything special 2000 dpm on a tank destroyer is quite bad actually honestly quite bad uh, but if you are able to use your high explosive to the max your dpm is going to rise by 1360 points from 2000 up to 3360 damage per minute and uh, this gun is you know it gets uh, weirder and weirder because uh, shell velocity numbers are supported by uh, that as well ap shell velocity 897 meters per second quite bad i would say so heat is even worse 795 but hg has the fastest 900 meters per second shell velocity so the more we look at uh, this gun the weirder it gets um, reload time 7.5 seconds as i said aiming time is quite good 1.9 seconds but at the same time dispersion at 100 meters 0.41 which is well let's just say it is quite crap especially on a tank destroyer which usually are the most accurate guns in this game 0.41 on this type of caliber what is going on over here honestly this is uh, like uh, more like a 152 millimeter massive boomstick accuracy like uh, isu 152 gets and so on so on Gun depression minus 6 degrees, 20 degrees of gun elevation, and ammunition capacity 66 pieces. So you can see firepower is quite, uh, quite weird, quite crazy, right? Uh, but guys, keep in mind this tank actually has a turret as well. So it is a tank destroyer with a turret, so I guess uh, some of the accuracy, some of the gun handling is based on that fact. Uh, because you have extra flexibility, right? 
So mobility moving on is quite good indeed as they said. 55 moving forwards, 20 moving backwards and it has the engine and power to weight ratio to back it up as well. 700 horsepower engine, 21.9 power to weight ratio, hull rotation speed for a tank destroyer 42 degrees per second is nice and turret rotation speed 32 degrees per second is you know heavy tankish but uh, for a um, tank destroyer with the turret it is not bad. So mobility is actually very very nice. Nice. Survivability 1150 hit points and now at least you know it may be buffed it may be nerfed like every single stat. Now, hull armor 65 40 40 same goes to the turret 65 40 40. Now it has some sloping going on but uh, the lower plate uh, seems to be very massive the upper plate is angled but uh, overall uh, I would say this tank is going to be quite an easy tank to penetrate because of the cheese like turret the cheese like hull as well. I don't uh, expect too many bounces from this tank. Uh, turret view range 370 meters which basically forces you to use coated optics uh, or pinos you know uh, but uh, for this type of tank definitely recommended coated optics more because of the mobility repositioning uh, capabilities um, to boost your view range over 445 meters. Uh, turret uh, signal range 850 who cares meters right and this tank has four crew members commander driver gunner and loader so shptk tvp 100 what a weird piece of vehicle right over here what a weird mix of uh, stats characteristics very I don't even know where to put it. Is it bad? Is it good? Is it average? You know, right now. And where is it going to be our first ever Czech tank destroyer? Usually, they have done this so many times. They are releasing uh, premium tanks before the deck three lines, but we have not heard anything about the Czech deck three line yet. The uh, tank destroyer de deck three line, I mean. My bet would be that it is a premium tank, but once again, nothing official about that. It is still in the super test, uh, in the closed super test stage, so we'll see. But guys, please let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below, together with your username, together with your server, because it is Desmos, and once again, I would like to give something away. 2,500 gold once again, um, available in the comment section, sponsored by the almighty like button. So just, you know, smooch the like button, take it out, take your thumb out, and uh, just you know, smash the like button for that. It's all you have to do. Every single server is able to win. So uh, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. And now uh, for the of course, let me know what you think about that tank. But now let uh, me switch to scene because uh, we have day two in the advent calendar. And uh, today's offer after Hawk 30 is Lerva. Now this is... Um, by the way, do not forget to um, accept your mission of today. Free stuff. Like, basically, this is as free as it gets, you know, if you just uh, play one or two battles. Anyway, um, Lerva. This one is um, an interesting one. It is, I think, one of the first uh, tier 8 premium heavy tanks in this game. You know, it is super old, it has seen uh, good days, it has seen bad days, but now I would say it is in quite a nice state, actually. Purchase with gold. What is the price? Ooh, 750,000. Ooh, yes, please. Uh, so right now the price is uh, for the package is, I think... 9,775, right? Uh, if you have this tank, you're going to get 952 in return, but you get those missions and crew as well, and carry slot. So I'm actually going to do that. Let's just, you know, uh, accept it uh, because we get gold back, and for the extra 200 ish gold, I got the missions for this vehicle, which helps me to field modification up Lerva easily. But the Lerva. Uh, it is, uh, honestly, I like it. I have to say, me personally, I do like Lerva because it has one of the highest penetration on a tier 8 premium heavy tank. It has one of the best accuracies on the tier 8 premium heavy tank. But the aim time definitely is super like luster. Uh, very long aim, aim time. Uh, DPM, you know, it is average, I would say, at the very best the DPM. Let's uh, return crew as well right over here so you can get a bit better, a bit better picture. Uh, E100 screw over here, you can see 2.0, uh, sorry, 6.0. 
0.29 dispersion, 2.5 second aiming time. Gun depression is very nice. It actually had some armor as well in tier 8 games. If you know how to play Lerva, this tank can actually be super, super annoying vehicle to take out. Now, mobility is definitely one of the worst things about Lerva. Even though it has 1000 horsepower engine, its power to weight ratio is 11.01 because 90.8 tons heavy vehicle, it is quite bad, right? Top speed 35, it's okay uh, for this type of tank. Uh, hull rotation speed uh, 30, you know, around 30, let's say, depends on your equipment units. And you're not forced to use actually coated optics over here because your base view range is quite nice. And you do not need to use too many pre move rounds. All in all, I would say it is, um, after they buffed it, it is actually quite a solid uh, premium tank, but uh, I personally do like this tank more, for example, because it's just, you know, extra mobility, and mobility nowadays World of Tanks is actually very, very, very important. It is the best premium heavy tank, definitely not, but it is quite solid, uh, it is... Um, uh, how to say, you know, it forgives you more mistakes than many other tanks too. Of course, uh, we can always argue with, let's just uh, go from here, this tank uh, way better. I like um, IS-6 even a bit more, you know, a Renegade, well, let's let's not even compare that. Like, like, Renegade, in my opinion, is one of the better ones. This one is better, and you are able to get this one from the Bond store as well for 8,000 Bonds, for example. So, options are there. Um, I don't feel like you need to rush towards Lerva. If you like this lower paced gameplays, maybe this tank is for you. If you don't, well, skip it because more offers to come every single day. Right, guys? So, ladies and gentlemen, this was my today's video. Let me know what you think about all the topics and uh, I get you next time with something else. So, I have nothing else to say. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs>